doing? Making a path. Path? Yeah, I'm clearing, getting the hose out of the way, getting compost out of the way, getting stuff out of the way so we can make room for a tractor to come through here to do some tractor work. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Yeah. Now that we have all this mulch spread out flat, we'll be able to put our compost right on top like we did for the other beds behind me and start planting some fall stuff. I was very lucky to be able to barter for some fall starts, so we will have plenty. But first, we have to have some fun family time at the Muscanine Vineyard, picking muscanines. One of our favorite fall activities to do as a family. taking a break from mulching the garden to pick some muscadines. A lot of muscadines growing out here at the farm. Do you like them? Are they good? And to those of you that don't know, muscadines are a native grape to the southeast. And they're so delicious. And they have the highest level of resveratrol. Of any natural derived Resveratrol. And resveratrol is very good for restoring cells and lots of other health benefits. You love them? You want me to go pick with you? Over there? Okay, I'm gonna go pick. The boys all have buckets and I have my awesome new harvesting bag. So I can just put my muscadines right here in my pouch like a kangaroo and then empty them into their buckets. And I have the coolest Tilly hat. You do have the coolest Tilly hat. <laughs> you have a cool hat too. Very cool hat. I love it. <laughs> yes, you too. You have a cool hat too. You want to try one? the ripest ones you can. Is that yummy Odin? Okay. Did you eat it? Okay. Are you guys getting a lot? Yep. Odin is really good at picking muscadines this year, isn't he? I'm on my second layer. That's awesome. Oh wow, you do have a lot. Try not to pick any green ones. Try to get the darkest ones. Good job, Odin. It's okay if he gets green ones. You can leave them in there. They're fine for wine. Y'all, these vines are so loaded. This might be the best muscadine season I have seen in a long time. I just picked from this post to about here and I've already filled a two gallon bag. I've got two gallon bag in my pouch that I'm putting it into because we're gonna be bartering with some of our farmer friends with these muscadines to get some of the stuff they have. I love bartering and these muscadines are so easy for us to just quickly pick. Okay y'all, I seriously am loving this foraging bag. I have it so that it's crisscrossed behind me to keep it up high on my chest and I just filled another two gallon baggie full of muscadines in record speed because these muscadines are so so ripe and ready to be picked. Very green ones, Hal. Oh. Okay, let's go to the lower side then. We would take buckets and buckets and buckets of them. And Mama would find jellies and preserves to last us a whole year through. And Daddy would make 
plastic lined washable look at that lined with plastic so I can keep this in here to pick muscadines which might get sticky and I can just dump it into the bucket when it's full and I can also use this pouch without the liner for more sturdy things it's waxed canvas so I can fill it up with apples if they're not sticky and not worry about damaging the wax canvas at all or I can use the liner if it's something stickier like berries or grapes I love this thing and it's got a nice little pocket right here for my cell phone so I can keep pulling it out and showing you guys what we're picking <music> 